Hey, this is Ryan with Coping Mechanics, the show where we talk about anxiety and video games. So, on the last Mass Effect playthrough, I mentioned that I was going to be playing The Division 2, but I actually changed it up when I found out that Outward came out. Um, There's a game uh, by Deep Silver, I believe, that's only been on my radar for a few weeks, but... When I read that it's a heavy RPG with uh, survival elements, <laughs> or a heavy survival game with RPG elements, uh, I thought it'd be kind of perfect for this series, because I had spoken about uh, on the last episode, and kind of with the whole mission statement of this series about how, um, I want to talk about how uh, video games help deal with help me personally deal with anxiety and maybe other people uh the survival elements and the rpg elements were kind of this perfect thing of <laughs> inventory management and skill sets and uh uh kind of character management that i think is a perfect thing for what i was speaking about with mass effect when it came to managing a lot of things with my brain um so much so that i'm having trouble talking and creating this character let's choose I don't know what any of these different races are. Go. I wonder how much I'm committing if I'll be able to change this later on. I'm into that. I can get behind that. Here. I like that. Alright, so it doesn't seem like I can change. Alright, so I don't know much about this game except that, again, it's a RPG with heavy survival elements, uh, which I'm excited about. Um, I know that there is no fast travel, that there's a very tough map, and that. <laughs> If you, if you die, you just are given a death scenario that there's actually no death in the game. So that's interesting. I don't know if everybody has the same intro either. So it might take a bit for me to get used to the controls, although I think they're pretty standard. Pulling almost 60 frames a second consistently, so that makes me happy. I'm not sure exactly if I should be playing this with a gamepad. I'm currently playing it on mouse and keyboard, so we'll see if... I don't know if I can keep those. So I understand that this game is pretty punishing. So we'll see how long I last. <laughs> Skills and cooldown, my little kick. So this is kind of a, it's, it's late right now, at least late for me, and uh, <laughs> very tired. It's been a, a long week so far. It feels like it's going backward. Um, so I'll see how long I last kind of late at night playing this, but I really wanted to give it a shot. Also, it's just been kind of a shitty week with work and shit, and it's just kind of a perfect thing to keep me distracted and kind of wind me down at night although I'm sure that that's probably bad for me considering they say that you shouldn't be like looking at screens before you go to bed hopefully this is pretty chill until I encounter some kind of like giant scorpion that I'm sure will pummel me to death but for the time being gathering berries seems nice
Hey there. We're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. Oh, and the rescuers. All right. As I understand it, uh, this game has a lot to do with paying back taxes, which, if I was as I was talking about last time, uh, maybe the kind of game where they're creating a controlled stress environment. You know, a little bit of art imitating life, but uh, yeah. I mentioned this last time that there's a theory about why we enjoy horror movies that it's that we could be scared in a controlled environment where you know we're not in danger and I feel that way a lot of times with video games that it's a stressful environment where I know that you know I can escape at any time and I think that that's um, part of the reason we play you know not everybody and not all the time but alright let's, let's get some sleep am I going to wake up on fire? I do not know what this means. Alright, so let's see. I put my torch away. Sheath. Let's see if that works. Nope. See what I got. Alright, so this is a little better. Cool. The controls, uh, especially the camera, is a little swimmy, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, just an interesting thing to note. Very swimmy. And when I say that, I just mean that it kind of drags behind it. Let's see if I can find weight of one. Okay. I'm already deep in the inventory management, and I am way into it. This is kind of exactly what I was looking for right now. So this is the same stats. I think I just like this more. So let me stash some stuff. 
Oh man, I cannot carry a lot. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I forgot there's no save points. Or there's no auto save, I should say. At least there's a pause button. So yeah, it's Tuesday, it's late, it's already been a long fucking week, and I'm glad to be... I'm glad to have kind of a new game. This this kind of came up again on my radar a few weeks ago, and then I forgot it was coming out, and then I read some reviews today that really struck my interest. Um, I'm glad that it's seeming to do everything I was hoping it would. Um, it's kind of interesting when giant... RPGs like this come out from you know somewhat small studios um Deep Silver obviously has done like a lot of stuff but oh I can drop my pack um but I always think that these like giant open world games from not giant AAA studios can tend to be extremely interesting I already have a fat roll going um you know, because what they're lacking for graphically, they kind of have to make for a, make up for in gameplay mechanics or or just kind of ideas. Even when the gameplay mechanics are a little shoddy, which I've read for this game, they are a little bit in terms of combat and stuff. That It's kind of like Dark Souls, but like not as good. Um, but it's always interesting uh, when these kind of smaller studios make these giant games. Because usually, at the very least, the world is interesting. So I'll hold on to everything for now, even though I have a fat roll right now. As they would say. Dark Souls parlance. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? Blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home. Just woke up from a shipwreck. Yeah. You were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home! Enough of this! Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once! So this really is like the this, inciting while the incident. Lives are still fresh, is an insult to their memory. But, Chamber Lady, I said that is enough. If you want to resume discussions after the mourning period, feel free. Oliel, see these people. Are you heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Jesus. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to... Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please find a way to make it work. That does seem like your most effective option dangerous as it is never forget no one is an orphan in Sierzo right. if you can do a great deed for someone in Sierzo once you're ready to leave Sierzo speak with Burak the gate warden let's see if I can get a tribal a days, may your ancestors watch over you cool. um, so I mentioned before that uh, I originally talked about uh, doing the Division 2, which I eventually will, but I'm, my plan here is to kind of have a few Let's Plays going at once, um, so I won't always be playing the same game uh, week to week. I also would love to get to a point where I'm releasing two episodes a week, one on Wednesday, one on Sunday, so this one I'm planning on re releasing on Wednesday, 
um, which uh, the first one came out on Sunday. I'm hoping to keep that schedule up. But I won't be playing the same games every time. I'll be kind of uh, jumping back and forth, just according to uh, where I'm at, honestly, mentally. And, and this is supposed to... I'm, I'm hoping that this, at least for me, can be kind of a stress-free thing. Um, obviously, as the, the name and the... Uh, the idea of the show comes from but uh i find myself uh day to day kind of changing i'm, I'm always kind of bouncing around between like five or six games and uh and i kind of want to do that with the series because i want to be able to explore different kinds of games and how they affect uh my anxiety and how they help with that so like i said today is like inventory management i i kind of want to do i'm going to continue with uh, Mass Effect, I, I want to do Grim Dawn for kind of like catharsis, just because those kind of ARPGs tend to be, you know, loud and, and visceral and uh, kind of uh, full sensory experiences. The same with The Division 2. Um, and then I want to do some more heavy RPGs, maybe some Dragon Ages. So, yeah, I'll, each one will have its own series, but I, but from episode to episode, I'll be moving um, between which I think will keep things interesting. At least my hope. Sorry, I'm changing some things because I want to get a few more frames out of this. Working off a GTX 1070, which is pretty beefy, but... I'm actually surprised. This game doesn't seem like all that demanding. I'm not sure how well optimized it is. Can I help you? Where can I find fish statue in the middle of the city? Great. Carry on then. Let's head toward the fish statue, see what's going on there. Let me also see what my inventory looks like. Maybe I could sell some stuff. I have a feeling this is the kind of game where coin is difficult to come by. So might not be as easy as I'd like. But we're in this for the long haul. So I'm trying to grab just a few more frames out of this. Terrain quality will knock down the high. Grass quality will knock down the high. Let's see if that does much. Seems to help a little bit. Great. So go talk to a merchant, see if I can get a weapon going. What can I do for you? All right. All right. So I have 27. Let's see what I can sell. I need that. Okay, get rid of that stuff. Might be an idea for me to just get a sword. Okay. So let's see. Let that just go. See? Yeah, okay. Don't want to be walking around with my sword out. Alright, so I got a sword. Great. Is there something you need? Let's see what this guy has. Fishing harpoon. So I only have seven. I should go back up to my place. Get some of the some of the clothes that I'm not wearing, see if I could sell those for anything. So far, I mean, I know I'm only a few minutes in, but so far I really like the feel of this game. I could see myself sinking some time into it. As I understand, it gets much more stressful, uh, which I'm looking forward to, but for the time being, it seems it's moving at like a nice, easy pace, which I appreciate as well, kind of easing us in. Alright. 
So we sell those. I don't think I'm going to need them. I'm trying not to be a hoarder when it comes to games. Ryan, you could work on that in real life. Yeah, I could. Sure. Oh, by the way, we now have a Twitter account. Uh, please check us out at Coping Mech Games uh, on Twitter. Where I'll be posting when episodes will be going up and upcoming episodes. Um, again, that's Coping Mech Games. Uh, the name Coping Mechanics was taken, and I know that this sounds like I'm playing mech games, but hey, I'm gonna play BattleTech eventually on here. You think that's not gonna happen? So, is there something you need? So let's see. I'll buy something. Let me get rid of this. So confirm transaction. We got 13. Can I get anything of use? Might want to save some stuff. So let's hold on the coin. I'll save my money for now. I'm in a saving mood when it comes to games right now. I've been told in Sekiro that it's a good idea. Hey, Save, so I've been doing it in there too. If only I could do it in real life. 13. So I don't really know what I'm gonna need yet. So I might want to explore a little more. Might, based on how this feels, I'll have to see how the combat goes. I might switch to a gamepad. My next playthrough. Just because it's like a heavy RPG, I thought that a mouse and keyboard might be the best option. Um, but since there's no reticle or anything like that, it seems like a gamepad might be it. Speaking of games helping with anxiety, that, that genuinely gives me anxiety trying to decide whether I should play with a gamepad or a mouse and keyboard. I also forgot that a major aspect of this game is both local and online co-op with split screen. Uh, so I'm going to have to jump into that at some point. That seems like a lot of fun. Maybe have a friend over. Double up on the stream. Yeah, I have friends. So apparently you can put your backpack down when you're fighting and then come back and get it. The only problem is if you die while you're fighting, I think you probably lose it forever. I'm really excited. I mean, this is a weird thing to say because I don't want to die in the game, but I'm really excited because apparently every death you get a different death scenario and then you have to kind of find your way out of it. Some of which are just like you wake up at home, but some of them, it sounds like they can get pretty interesting, so... Interested to see how that goes. I just love collecting like that. There's something so soothing about it. Whoa! Hold up there. Where do you think you're going? Oh, not like that, you aren't. You need at least an equipped weapon, a water skin, and an equipped backpack before you're ready to face the outside world. Alright, so. If I let you adventure outside, little beast, you're pressed to find a weapon. Make yourself a quarterstaff. So I have I'm also to. sure you can find a spare water skin by the water purifier on the town beach. Cool. Let's go find that. Because I have the backpack and the sword. So I'm in good shape there. Is this the water purifier or is this giant thing the water purifier? I think I'll head toward the giant thing first. I like my guy. He seems cool. Ashen is a name I use for everything. I think it's... I think I originally got it from Dark Souls, but... Just the idea of, like, the Ashen one. 
Oh, great. Just went. Oh, I dropped it. Okay. So how do I quick slots? Warming properties. All right, so let's go back. See, I th here's the thing: this game does an auto save. I don't know when it does save, so I'm not positive how to save. So I might have to play this indefinitely. <laughs> Need something? Well, you got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. Afraid of moving a little too fast here. There you go. Say. Mastering skills is the key to survival out in the wild. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. I don't have 50 silver. Let's see. Sure. Great. I'll make puncture one. Two. I'll make this water. Great. Out into the world. Hopefully, we'll find out how to save soon, or else it's going to be a very long fucking stream. So I'll be uploading primarily on YouTube. Please subscribe. Um, and then Twitch I'll be using for live streams, which I'll be letting uh, you know about ahead of time um, and putting on the Twitter and uh, with a link on the YouTube for when it's going to happen. Um, and then I might even do some YouTube live streams. But yeah, Twitch will be used primarily. I mean, everything will be on there as well. But since things tend to uh, have a timeout on those... I'm going to be uploading to YouTube with different playlists for different games. Um, so, please subscribe. Tell your friends that we're starting a community where we can all talk about the things that bother us and how uh, these video games we love so much might uh, help us on a day-to-day -day basis. And I also uh, want to get more into... You know, I understand that like this idea of video games helping... With anxiety is just a personal thing that um, I've experienced and, and, you know, not everybody has that experience. Some people do. I know that some people have the opposite experience. And as I mentioned in the first episode, I am not a mental health professional of any kind. And I also am acknowledging that I'm an adult with a fully formed brain. And there's, you know, a lot of gray area with video games. You know, I, I'm certainly not someone who thinks that video games incite violence or anything like that. But I also am someone that thinks that... Um, ultraviolent video games are not for kids the same way that ultraviolent movies would not be for kids um, and I know that that's a thing you know it's a consideration so when I play the division 2 I acknowledge that I am a 31 year old man with a fully formed brain that knows that that is not reality but also I'm not sure how I'd feel about a 10 year old playing it um, oh 
Just got straight up attacked by a goose. Or a swan. I don't feel great about that. I don't feel great about that, but... You know. Fortunately, it was him or me. Let's use a bandage. So that takes a little while. Okay, so that's good to know. That it takes a while to heal. Let's find some salt. Ooh, I don't have a mining pick. I even have a map yet? So I do. What's interesting about the map, as I've read about, is that um, it does not tell you where you are, which is interesting. Um, so I know that I'm in Sierra, just because they told me that. So if I want to get to the mountain, which I'm told is where I could get some magic, it might be a good idea for me to bear right here. So that'll be fun. Actually using a map for practical purposes. I check my inventory. I have to see if I can make some bandages. What do I need? Linen cloth. And so I wonder how to get that. Are these people going to attack me? Ooh, this is getting heated fast. I'm going to die, and I have. <laughs> I was going to die, and thus I have. So let's find out what happens now. Oof. Okay, so I've been taken prisoner. I have no lights. And I've lost everything. I'm gonna put that light out. I left to wonder where my stuff is. Hi, ready? My god. What will happen now? <laughs> okay, so just kind of respawned. It says I should use a bandage, of which I have none. Okay, so on the map it says where my backpack is. So I need to go find my backpack. As I'm literally leaking blood. So I sneak around. 
This is not quite as smooth of a sneak as Sekiro. The other game I'm playing a lot this week. But it seems that my backpack is in this tent. Great. Quit my backpack. Whoa. Now we're talking. I already have that. Have that. Alright, I'm gonna be over encumbered, I believe, but we'll see. Let's check this out. Now, maybe I could take everything. Twenty-five, twenty-five attack speed one. All right, so the iron mace is what's what I should use. Everything. Bag overweight. Okay. Should have known, should have known. Alright, so I could drop this guy. I could drop that guy. That should make a bandage. I'm gonna need to sleep soon. In the game and in life. But especially in the game. Right. So I've escaped the bandits, it, it would seem. Now I need to find a save point. I'm enjoying this game quite a bit. Um, it's kind of everything I was hoping it would be in terms of, um, you know, I've been playing for 45 minutes and until I'm about to say this, I haven't thought once about how I'm going to die one day. So, you know, you can't really ask for more than that from a game. Um, but yeah, I was hoping, it, you know, the combat's a little janky and it's certainly uh, not a graphical powerhouse. But, man, there are some intricate systems in a <laughs> fully-fledged world. And I like that a lot. So let me see if I sleep. Yeah, I could park under. So, oh, I see. I want to stop from an ambush. Right, so let's see. I will fall unconscious from thirst. So where's my... Oh, I see. So I need to drink something, which is good, because I can.
So I'm going to have to get some like real sleep from this because... Actually, I'm going to switch to the sword just because I have... I have that skill. Yeah, I can get some water down here if it's fresh water. So as far as I know, the game auto-saves, which I hope is true. Is there anything we can make? No. No. So, I need to find out where I am. Okay. So I can get back to Sierzo. So if I can just get back there... Let me just... Then I will do that and try to trade for more stuff. I'm staying away from whatever the fuck that is. No thank you. So it looks like that's... That I'm on right here. So I should go down and make a right because I don't... Maybe I could get around these guys. So I don't feel like going all the way down and back up. But I also don't want to get caught by bandits again. Okay. But I badly, badly, badly need to get some bandages. I don't feel like getting caught by those guys. It is funny that the basis of this game is that you basically owe back taxes to the town. When all I've been thinking about for the last three weeks is owing taxes to the government. Whoa, that was close. How do I avoid that in the future? Oh, okay, that's scary. Glad that it missed me. But I'm sure that I will be had at another point. Looks like that's another one. Yeah, okay, so let's avoid that. I'm gonna try to get to town before it gets dark. And hopefully I can sleep in my bed so I don't have to worry about ambush. As I understand it, this game never gets a fast travel function. I don't know if you ever get like a horse or anything, but I don't think so. I think you basically have to have to walk everywhere. Um, which, you know, if the world is engaging, or if it fits into the rhythm of the game, honestly. It's like, that could be annoying if that's not kind of, if it's just getting in the way of, uh, you know, where, where, whatever your next goal is but if it's if that's built into what the game is i think that's totally fine it's the lighthouse that's what it looks like when my stamina goes all the way down i look none too well i'm very excited to jump into the co-op if anyone wants to co-op with me, message me. I'm 
Merchants open all night. That's my kind of game. Is there something you need? from that transaction. I need some bandages. Let's see if maybe the smithy has some stuff. What could I do for you? All right. Great. So I can sell this. I am going to sell this just to get some stuff. All right. So it seems that Seems that silver is going to be hard to come by. Let's see if I can sleep. I don't know if the house is technically considered mine anymore. So we'll see. If not, I'll put out the bedroll. Nice night's sleep here. Wake up in the morning. So this has been Outward. I'm going to continue with this. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game so far. Um, please uh, like the video and subscribe. Check out the Mass Effect uh, Let's Play that I started on Sunday. We'll be uh, posting new videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So please come back, check out, subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Coping Mech Games. It's Coping Mech Games. M-E-C-H. And, uh, yeah, please come back. Thanks for joining. This has been Outward. I'm Ryan for Coping Mechanics.